Hi guys, I've got some good news. I've just <laughs> I've just realised the t-shirt I've got on is terrible. It's uh, one off the in-betweeners. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at the screen. It's ter it's crap. It's a crap. Um, it's a crap habit. Oh, do you like the mic? Got the mic set up better again. And uh, I thought I'd just try out this camera light as well. So this Amiga behind me, uh, I managed to do the flicker fix on it. Um, I've soldered that little thing that I was saying about in the video before, the capacitor that goes across. I'll stick the picture there if you hadn't seen it. Um, what else have I done? I've already done a retro Brian video. I've got the PCMCA, PCMCIA working. You can just see it there. Um, I've had to, it actually turned out I had to buy another 128 meg card because the one that I bought, oh this light's automatic on this, so this pain in the bum, it's just gone off. It senses as enough light goes off. I don't know where the sensor is. Okay, whatever. But, um,. Yeah, the only thing that I wanted to show you, I'll show you how what I'll show you a few bits about the card because I'm going to ramble a bit now. But the 128 meg card that I had in the PCMCAA decided to go funny. Um, I couldn't format it or anything. I think that might be the the problem I was having. Um, I tried formatting it and it didn't work, and then it come up with an un unknown size in the PC and all sorts. Um, so I've binned it now. I've bought another SanDisk one, and that's working straight off. I haven't formatted it. It's in raw format. The Amiga loves it. Oh, sorry, it's not in raw. It's in fat. Um, and the Amiga loves it. The PC reads it. Another thing that I had problems with is the uh, card reader. I bought a card reader off eBay, and I don't think it was as good as what they said. Um, so I've ditched that card reader as well and now the one I've bought is a hell of a lot better and it seems to be writing and reading the card so that might have messed up the last 128 meg that come with it because it was working fine when I got it and the PCMCAA thing so yeah there's a lot going on but uh, anyway let's get rid of the rambling I'll show you what's going on there so the Amiga's running you've got the 128 meg card in the side um, <laughs> I've got no mouse plugged in I'm going to have to put the mouse on in I damn okay so I've bought a <clears throat> okay so I've bought a lovely lapel mic as well um, hopefully you should hear me but I haven't tried it yet so but anyway mouse is in this is the 128 meg card I'll bring it down here so you can see show files the other thing I wanted to talk about is this for some reason my Amiga is really purpley and if I go to the prefs I've managed to sort out the colour via the prefs this is going via the RGB input so to the SCAR I can't see any, any way around it again it might be because of some leakage of the capacitors I don't know now the new ones are in it's working but the um, RCA yellow composite port is doing exactly the same thing. This sort of purple haze is even worse. So let us know if you know what's going on with that, but I haven't got a clue. But as soon as I go to palette, I've adjusted it slightly. Yeah. Preset is that. But I've got to take the green up a bit and you're back to a normal workbench there. So. I don't know, I've read on Google there's bugs on these old boards. This is a 1.3 revision, it's quite old. But yeah, I mean, I managed to get off these these off all off the web. Oh, God, what am I on about? I managed to get all these off the web. Um, these are all ADF format. The only other problem that I encountered was... Yeah, it's not going to show it, it's because the file name's too long, but these are all in ADF format. And I've been using a program in here. T 
to transfer the disk images to disk, which is that, TSGUI, if you can see it. This comes with the PCMCIO software. So what you do is you select what disk you want to send the ADF to. So if I go to the games di uh, volume, oh, and I'll tell you why I'm doing that at the moment. Oh, so I'm not showing that file name's too big. Hmm. Okay. Well, these are, these are ADFs anyway. Let's see if it'll give me the full file name. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm using this to transfer the ADFs to floppy drive. And the reason being, you might be thinking, why he's done all this? Why is he not using WHD load? I found out that most people are using WHD load with Amiga 1200s with more than two megs of RAM. I've got two. I've got one meg chip RAM, and well, I think they're both classes chip RAM. One in the trapdoor, one in on board. Um, but the Amiga 1200s, people buy on the um, Blizzard cards and accelerators with the four meg of RAM, you know, another two meg, anything above two meg of chip RAM and more, the WHD loads uh, works with, but uh, it's something to do with the accelerator anyway, it just, it's just a lot better, it's a, it's a lot quicker, and I think it's because the kick starts loaded into RAM, it loses a lot, so, hmm, in a way I wasted my time buying this um, trapdoor RAM, um, it's quite expensive, but that's probably why I didn't realise a lot of people wasn't using the A600, which is a bit of a shame because it's a nice small system, compact, it, you know, it fits everywhere. So, yeah, I think I'm going to bottom out on this and call it a day and probably just use the games via um, WinUAE because um, I've got all the software, I've got the computers, I'm not doing piracy, so... You know, I've got all the games on discs. The, you know, the games that I use and play anyway, I got on discs. So, yeah, there you go. So um, that's the end of that one. But yeah, this is running beautifully. Um, as I say, this is. Let's just do a free key salute. This is running from the hard drive. I put the four gig one in there in the end. I say the 128 gig, uh, the 128 meg one come with it, but that's in the side. As you can see, that the other one failed because um, I think the card reader before was a bit defunct. So there you go, four gigs booted up. Again, like I say, it's, it's a bit purpley. If uh, anyone knows how to sort it, that'd be great. So, I'll leave you guys to it. But yeah, I hope you like the little, get a bit further with the setup now. Got a nice telly to uh, connect things and monitor and debug things with now. I'm playing with a pink DS. I've got a couple of other DSs on the way and I'm, th I'm thinking I'll do a um, video to show my computer collection soon. I, co I collect computers and consoles, so. I'll show you this the sand disc. If you're after one, this is the one I bought, and this will work straight off. Um, got it on eBay for a fiver, I think. So yeah, the sand discs recommended anyway with PCMCIA. So yeah, um, hopefully that helps. Uh, just a quick vid. I might take a few bits out because ramblings, but yeah. See you later.